Educators in one North Texas school district are facing investigation from law enforcement. All of this centers around controversial books in a school library. Alexis Wainwright is at Granbury High School and explains how authorities got involved here. In a statement, Granbury ISD Superintendent Jeremy Glenn says constables wanted to follow up on a complaint of eight books under review for sexual content still being in the library. Five of them have since been removed following a review of school library books in January. It has angered a lot of students. I think it's really wrong that they took out books on sexual education because um, Texas doesn't offer sexual education in schools. Students like Kaylin Price say they don't want these books removed. Right before the book ban, I was, go I was about to check out this book about trans lives because I am non-binary and uh, I would have loved to have read something personally about myself or something that I'll relate to. In a statement to CBS 11, Superintendent Glenn went on to say, quote, this appears to be an investigation resulting from a complaint outside of the district raised by a community member. Some parents feel like things have gone too far. I feel like it's a witch hunt that uh, the school engaged in, unfortunately. They shouldn't be facing consequences at all. Um, they're humans. Mistakes are made. Governor Greg Abbott has weighed in on controversial books, telling the Texas Education Agency in November, quote, we have a responsibility to ensure that no Texas child is exposed to pornography or obscene content while in a Texas public school, and that those who do should face prosecution to the fullest extent of the law. But the parents we spoke with say they don't have a problem with the books they know about in school. They're going to see it online, sometimes a lot worse. The books that are there have been approved to be there, and they've been there for years. Reporting in Hood County, Alexis Wainwright, CBS 11 News. Multiple